Normally when I write music I have a very strong idea of what I want it to do and where the improvisation is to go and but I try and not tell people that at the beginning because I want to give them freedom to to try just try play the music and see what happens first. Rhythm of Strings, and it's five musicians who've been working together for the last five days here at Snape, and um, it bridges the gaps between electronic music and classical music, jazz and improvisation. What I wanted to do for this project is because the guitar and the strings and the drums are all making an acoustic sound in the space, I, I wanted to have some little speakers for my laptop that I could actually hold and then touch. So um, I, could mod I could change the sound just by touching it, these speakers. And of course there are um, orchestral instruments here. I used this really huge bass drum on the stand and put the speakers on there. So it's kind of like I've got this real acoustic presence in the room. unexpected thing is probably linked to the way the physical arrangement of the musicians in a circle changes one's perspective as an audience member. When I, when I was not playing but walking around the group as I hope that the audience will do a little bit, as if you were looking at a sculpture, the way that the sound changes is really interesting. Usually when you're at a concert there's stuff pointing at you and the job of the sound person is to make that image as consistent as possible for everyone in the audience. I hope that what happens here is that people notice how different things sound in different places. Five days is like very, very, very rarely happens that you get that kind of time where everyone can come away from, especially coming away from London and being somewhere else and really have the time to do that. It's very rare you get that opportunity. Mm -hmm.